good morning children in this video we are going to learn about digestion of the food so all living beings living things need food for their survival food gives us energy and food make our body fit and healthy and food help our body growth and development but that food is not directly used by our body to produce energy to provide energy this food has to be broken down into simpler form this process of breaking down of food into simpler form is called digestion so what is digestion the process of breaking down of food into simpler form is called digestion in this di this digestion process begins with the mouth so this is the digestive system of the human being in this in this digestive in this digestion mouth salivary glands and food pipe food pipe stomach liver pancreas and small intestine large intestine and anus these are the parts involved in the digestion again i am repeating mouth salivary glands food pipe stomach liver pancreas small intestine large intestine and the anus these are the parts involved in the digestion the digestion starts with the mouth when we put food in the mouth our teeth our teeth bite and chew the food while chewing the saliva from the salivary glands mixes with the food this saliva is the digestive juice it changes the insoluble starch into soluble sugar that's why by eating the starchy substances starchy food items like uh, bread and rice you will you taste the sweet after chewing them by eating after chewing this rice and bread you taste as sweet why because this saliva changes the so insoluble starch into the soluble sugar from the mouth the food enters into the stomach through the food pipe the food pipe is the long tube that connects the mouth and stomach so this is the food pipe from the mouth the food enters into the stomach through the food pipe this is the stomach the stomach is the muscular bag when the food enters into the stomach the digestive juices present in the stomach digest the food and after this the food enters into the small intestine this is the small intestine from the stomach uh, this the digestive food enters into the small intestine in the small intestine uh, the walls of the small intestine secretes the digestive juices and the liver and the pancreas also secretes that means releases the digestive juices into the small intestine this is this is like a coiled tube uh, while passing food through the small intestine these all juices make the food uh, digested well completely the food will be digested in the small intestine in the small intestine the food is like a liquid the walls of the small intestine having the blood vessels these blood vessels absorb the nutrients uh, from the digested food and the undigested food enters into the large intestine this liquid like food enters into the large intestine in the large intestine the walls absorbs the extra water then the liquid like food becomes into the semi solid while passing through the large intestine this liquid like food uh, changes into the semi solid like solid like it will change while passing through the large intestine and this undigested food and this waste material will go out through the anus when you go to toilet and next for proper digestion those are some tips we have to follow so tips for proper digestion so uh, we we should follow some tips for the proper digestion we should have our food at fixed hours daily we should eat at the same time next one chew the food well 
Before swallowing, we must chew the food well. Without chewing, we should not swallow. And eat lots of green vegetables and fruits. So, we must eat the lots of green vegetables and fruits. Because these vegetables and fruits contain roughage. Roughage helps in proper functioning of the digestive system. Drink plenty of water. We must drink the plenty of water for proper digestion. Next, and we should not overeat. So, these are the tips for the proper digestion. We should have our food at fixed hours. We should chew the food well before swallowing. We must eat lots of green vegetables and fruits. We must drink plenty of water. And we should not eat, uh, we should not over eat. Have you understood? Now I am going to ask some questions on this topic. My first question is, name the parts of the digestive system. So what are the parts are there in the process of digestive system? Look at, look at this. So what is the first part? Mouth, food pile, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, anus and liver, pancreas. These are the organs, these are the parts are involved in the process of the digestion. And my second question is, what is the first part of the digestive system? What is the first part? What is the first part? Mouth. Mouth is the first part of the digestive system. And next question is, name the sac like structure in the digestive system. Once observe the diagram, where you can observe the sac, what is the sac means? Sac means it's a bag like. Yeah, what is the part that looks like a bag? Yes, this is the muscular bag, uh, that is the stomach. And next question is, in which part of the digestive system, digestion will be completed? In which part, where will be the digestion completed? Where? Here, in the small intestine, digestion will be completed. And in the small intestine, in the small intestine only, nutrients will be absorbed by the blood and taken to the all parts of the body. And next one, in which part, extra water will be absorbed? Here, in which part, water will be absorbed by our body? In which part? Yes, large intestine. In large intestine, extra water will be absorbed.